Shalom, Shalom, Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstones who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to touch on this article one of the brothers put in the chat, and I was reading it, and you know, it was just goes to show you know how much we, we need you know um yahweh this and yahweh shy to deliver us man okay it says tampa mayor jane castro refuses to apologize for tpd's harm to the black community now tpd is tampa police department okay and i'm originally from tampa um they had the head of a camp called um prophets in babylon tampa Okay, and one thing for sure, two things are certain. I do not live in Tampa right now. I live, you know, in the off, you know, in a side city, because of the history and the dealings of the Tampa Police Department, man. Okay, especially with my family in particular. Okay, you know they, you know, not not saying that my family, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, my uncles and my damn, you know, my, my people deserved it. But these police officers, they're very, very, you know, evil, man. And they take it to another level. I remember when I was a kid, I watched my father get, you know, tased on, on the damn front porch by, by, the, by the TPD. Okay, the Tampa Police Department. So their whole goal is uh, to destroy, man, to destroy the black community. They're a damn gang. Okay, nothing but a bunch of thugs. Um, and they, you know, are merciless, you know, very, very, very evil, evil um, people in the TPD. Okay, and this just goes to show that it's being led by it, it. You know, for for that time, for a period, even right now, shit. But for a period, it, you know, it's always have these, you know, these um um people ruling over them that leads them and and and, and promotes this, you know, behavior to the so-called black community. Okay, which are the God's chosen people, which are the Israelites. All right, so it says Castro won't apologize to a family whose fathers died in the hands of TPD, marking a trend of refusing to apologize for TPD's actions. So this has happened multiple times where they have done, you know, something or killed somebody in, 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 a, in a ridiculous manner, and then they won't even apologize for it, man. You know, and this is the woman right here, you know, an Edomite devil, okay? This woman is a demon, man. When she was in office, um, she would march with the, 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 the um, BLM, you know, be out there, you know, playing, trying to play both sides, but the whole time, she, you know, she's a total, total devil. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back. Hold on, so lucky. It says, and she was the mayor, Tampa Mayor Jane Castro speaks of the press conference about free multi housing program. Let me see if I can get the whole thing back. What's going on? Okay. About the crime free multi housing program, which is under federal investigation. Look, you see. Because these people are evil. All right. Now, before we go, go any further, let me grab this scripture right here. It says, James chapter 2, verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed, shewed no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. So these people, they have showed us no mercy, man. So guess what? You know, that, that there's another side to this. You're going to receive judgment without mercy, man. Okay. The Lord is going to ultimately... Um, you know, punish you heathens for what you for what you have done to his people. Okay, you 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 will be punished. So you know, you that apology is null and void, man. Okay, these people are going in slavery. It says Tampa Mayor Jane Castor doesn't seem concerned with the healing power of apologies. And you know, Jake just you know seeking the damn apology from 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 the devil, which you shouldn't be doing that. You don't doing that either. But this right here just proves you this person is these people are more of the devil. It says, at least when it comes to the way the Tampa Police Department was harmed, has harmed the black community. So they, you know, blatantly coming out and talking about how these police departments are harming our communities, man. You know, they are because what they are targeting Jake. They're, listen, man, the, 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 the police are nothing but a, um, a, a upgraded pu pu uh, slave pu 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 patrol, man. Okay. And in, in, the, in the recent years, they have militarized these these police officers, man. You know these police forces, and all they do is they is they target you know our communities and they slay our men, okay, our women and our children. 
It says she has yet to apologize to the family of Arthur Green Jr., who died while restrained by TPD as he was having a diabetic emergency in 2014. So this man was having a diabetic emergency while he was restrained, and they pretty much, you know, uh, you know, uh, let him die. It says last week, da da da, da reported that City has has now settled a eight year lawsuit with the family, who accused two TPD officers of a, of using excessive force while trying to arrest Green as they failed to recognize he was having a medical emergency, and that's because they don't care about your your health. They're not here to here to protect you, okay? They're here to serve you. You know, a damn beatdown, man. And we've seen this multiple times. These people are total fucking demons, okay? And and they will they will pay for it. It will pay. It will pay for it all. You will pay for this, man. Okay. Now, right now, when you when you and your your kingdom, you 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 can you know shrug it off and not apologize and not want want to pay for it. But trust me, the time is coming, man. Okay. Where the scripture says that um uh you know everybody shall receive a reward according to their works. You know what whether it be good or evil. It says um. <clears throat> The, the Tampa police didn't treat our dad um, like a human being. Arthur Green's stepson, Kirk Young, said, creative loafing Tampa Bay, it says, and, the, and it's deplorable that Jane Castro is trying to avoid accountability for it. You see, they, they want to avoid accountability for it. They, they, they don't want to, they don't want to you know, she, she should never apologize for that because that's just going to say that her police force did, did something wrong, which they did. But if you if she say that, then you got to, you, know, you got to, you know, investigate all, all, all these other things they did wrong. Okay. So in order to keep that, you know, sh sh stern, you know, uh, face of being so-called there to put, to, you know, to serve and protect, you know, they 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 they, they gonna, they gonna run, 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 run with the lies. All right. It says Young said that he was raised by Green just like a biological son and pointed out that he was a beacon of hope for the community and a mentor to many. Young said that TPD's initial response was to try to vilify his dad to avoid taking responsibility for what the police did to him. You see, that's what they do. They'll try to they'll try to vilify you. They immediately try to find something to say that you was a, you know, a damn criminal or some whatever, you know, to, to justify themselves, you know, slaying you. Castro had the chance to apologize and be on the right side of history, but she'd rather try to uphold this false narrative that my father was somehow in the wrong and that CPD acted according to policy, Young said. And there's no reason why a man should be, you know, killed as he's restrained by, by if he's already been restrained, why is he dying in police custody? Because these cops don't really care about your health, man. They, they don't really care about protecting you. You know, it's, it's all about a damn quota, man. Okay, you know they have to get as many arresting, you know, and what and what do they get? Go to get all these arrests? Do they go to the white neighborhoods where where the Edomites snorting coke and shit on the streets? You know, doing you know heroin and fentanyl on the streets, or do they go to the you know the, the damn schools where you know Edomites shooting up schools? No, they 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 they, they, they go to them schools. No, sit outside them schools. You know, checking their phones and shit. But when it come to the, 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 the if it's a damn Jake so-called black hispanic and native indian or if it's somewhere in our communities they a a a a a a a that's when they go total race soldier man okay they, they go total demon it says the greens are just one of many black families that have been affected by tpd's actions especially when castro was chief from 19, 2009 to 2015 castro oversaw biking while black which dis disproportionately targeted black bi black bike lists for police stops Search and uh, searches and tickets. And you see, and you see that in Tampa too. You see, motherfucking. I saw shit. I was riding. I was, you know, driving, to, you know, to work the other day, and I saw a damn four police cars, and they pulled over a damn man in a damn wheelchair. It was four po police trucks, and they had a man pulled over that was in a wheelchair, man. You know, harassing people. That's what they harass people. Okay, a Tampa Bay Times investigation found that, and really, you know, this is the judgment of the Lord, you know, because. And I, and I remember I, I got in trouble with, the, the, you know, the police, you know, before I came prior to coming into this truth. But since coming into this truth, you know, I, have, I haven't had any issues. The scripture says when a man's ways please the Lord, even his enemy will be at, at, will be at peace with, 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 with thee. So we at the same time, we understand this is the judgment of the Lord. You know, I'm just pointing out the fact that these people are devils in their judgment. OK, it says that from 2013 to 2015, CPD wrote more than 10,000 bike tickets you want a bike they give you a ticket you want a bike bro these fucking devils man these fucking devils 
black people received 79% of those tickets despite being just 60, 26% of the population, you see, because Tampa is very diverse. You know, you got a bunch of people that come here to move down here. You know, you recently just had a bunch of people move down here, you know, after that um, demic. A lot of people moved down here, but they said how they, there were more than 10,000 bike tickets. And black people received 79% of those tickets being despite being just 26 percent of the population so um yeah man so they're writing these tickets for for you for for for, for why, why you on the bike and then what happens is when you can't pay the bike because you know jake is already in poverty jake obviously riding a bike you know you're probably trying to get to work or whatever to pay your bills that you can't even afford and you get pulled you could pull over and get a bike ticket if you don't pay that bike ticket then they'll then they'll lock you up man you know they'll further the case you know further putting you in you know oppression it says black people were so oh, lucky while the, the Department of Justice investigated the biking tickets. Castro also oversaw the crime free multi housing program later dubbed renting while black. Wow. <laughs> the program targeted mainly black renters for eviction and is currently under federal investigation. You see this shit, man? They're under investigation. That shows you that this, 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 this some shit going on behind this, man. They're being federally investigated, and they said they, they the program targeted mainly black renters for eviction, kicking Jake out of the house. We are in fucking hell here, man. We are under the curses completely, you know, consumed in you know hell, we, we, you know, un, under a demonic people. It says the mayor's administration kept the in investigation a secret for five months until holding a press conference about it in April. Wow, the mayor's administration kept it a secret. Okay. After uh, vigorously defending both of the racially based programs, Castro eventually list uh, Castro eventually listened to the to to the insistent demand of the public, especially the black community, and allowed the programs to change. So they knew the programs was wrong. Okay, while running for mayor, the and under pressure, Castro said the biking while black tickets were wrong. Wow, but did not ensure uh, so I can ensue an official apology to the people affected. Wow, so you know what you did was wrong. You admit what you did was wrong, but you but you want to apologize for it because what it made them money, it made them rich, it made them you know it it it, it, it kept them in power. You see, or, or, or whatever the fuck, man. Because really, all racism is is white people trying to stay in power. You know, that's all it is. Last month, a BuzzFeed investigation found that several black police officers have become disillusioned by their jobs after realizing the racial inequities inside um, and, and it's like an inequities um, inside the TPD. So you got black police officers like, yo, what, what, you know, what am I doing here, man? <laughs> you know, they become disillusioned, you know, because they were already under, under illusion that they were there to protect and serve and make the, the, the things better. Then they come in and they find out, oh, no, well, wait a minute. Y'all just some fucking racists in here, man. Y'all just some total demons that's targeting my people, man. Imagine you a, a black police officer and everyone and all your family members getting locked up, you know, disproportionately killed, you know, beaten police brutalities all that shit man you know and these people a lot of these black officers they really join the force to try to call themselves trying to make it things better to try to you know change the system which which is, is foolish okay creative loathing uh, uh loafing tampa bay asked the mayor's administration about the lack of apology to the green family along with what seems to be a trend of not apologizing to the black community for transgressions under her leadership mm. And it goes on and on, man. It goes on and on. I think I'm going to leave it off right there. Grab a couple of presets, but you get the point. Okay, when this damn devil was in, uh, in the seat or whatever. Under her leadership, she did a lot of, you know, you know, brought a lot of hell upon the so-called black community, man. Which, um, in those black communities, you got so-called blacks, okay? You so-called Negroes and what they call you African Americans, Haitians and Levi's, or, or or Haitians, you know, um, and Jamaicans. Then you also got the the northern North, 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 northern kingdom in there too, okay? And, and and they consider us all black, okay? It says um. That's the point on that.
Uh, let's go ahead and grab some scriptures. This is Zechariah chapter 11, verse 4. For thus saith Yahweh, my power, feed the flock of my slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they say, and they, and they that sell them say, Blessed be, the, be Yahweh, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Okay, so there you go. Um, these devils, you know, they they, they 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 slay us and they hold themselves not guilty. You know, you, they'll be investigating their own selves for for their own wickedness, man. And then they hold themselves not guilty. They just get off. Okay, and that shows you how, you know, this place is not for us. I man, scripture says this place is, is not our rest. Okay. Um, this place, this place is just, it's just not our rest, man. It's why, why we ultimately have to be on fire for you. How about you, shy? Praying the Lord have mercy upon us and deliver us from, 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 from these devils. Okay. It says, um, Isaiah chapter uh, 42, it's like a 47. I'm on, I'm on the other phone. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 4. As for our Redeemer, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, you Edomites, you devils, you know, you sorceries, with all your sorceries and your witchcraft, even the whole black, black community, black community, black is a, 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 a derogatory term to demonize, man. That's why anytime you see a movie, the, 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 antagonist, okay, the, the, the bad person is always, you know, on, under a black shadow, you know, a black light, Okay. And we're not black, we're just different variations of brown. It says, O daughter of Ch Chaldeans, for thou shalt have shall be shall no more be called the lady of kingdoms, America. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. So the Lord was upset with us, and he, you know, he 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 he, he gave us your hand for punishment. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient thou hast laid a and thou has thou has hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. You see, and and that's it says upon the ancient, the old, the, the older um, Jakes, man. You know, a lot of the older Jakes, you know, they 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 they've they been beaten into submission. You know, they don't want to speak up, they don't want to rise up, they don't want to say, say nothing. You know, they don't want to, uh, uh, you know, that that you know, they, 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 they pretty much you know afraid. You know, and that's because what the Lord said, He was wroth with His people. He put us in, He put us in His punishment, but it wasn't to destroy us. It was just to you know. Uh, chastise us to correct us but these devils they had no mercy in that man okay um let me grab that real quick um this is Isaiah this is um I so like this is Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 it says but this is a people robbed and spoiled they are all they are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses they are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore these devils they they, they prey upon us man they said they had bike ten thousand dollar i mean ten thousand bike tickets man you know, and and what eighty percent of them were, you know, black people. <laughs> They're preying upon you, man. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. What them, what them, um, you know, in in, in in the projects. You know, they got your ass in these churches worshiping white Jesus. That's a hole, man. That, 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 and that's a trap. Okay, a snare is a trap. You are snared in that hole. It says, and they are hid in prison houses. They lock you up. You know. Hey, the blacks and Hispanics, you know, are disproportionately in those prison houses, man. But you got these Edomites that shoot up whole schools and go and 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 pretty damn near walk freely, man. Get they, they get rewarded. It says, and um, for they are a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restores. Nobody care about us. Nobody. That's why the devil she she didn't care to apologize, man. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time for the time to come? Who hey 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 hey, hey who gonna take ear to this video, man? You know, you, a lot of you jakes, y'all y'all want entertainment, y'all yeah yeah shit like this you ain't gonna we ain't gonna watch, man. You ain't gonna listen to because because it's something that's you know. <laughs> it says verse forty two. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? 
did not Yahweh he against whom we have sinned for they would not walk in his ways neither were they obedient unto his law therefore he hath poured out upon him the fury of his anger this is why you see Jake's getting done like this man because ultimately you Jake's is going against your, your, your true power you still worshiping Jesus why why why, why my mother a motherfucker that look like Jesus is pulling you over beating your ass shooting at you you know locking you up putting you through all kind of hell and your family through all kind of hell he says, who, who, who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, Yahweh, even he against whom we have sinned, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore, he poured upon him the fury of his, his, of his anger and the strength of battle. And he set him on fire round about, and yet he knew not, and it burned him. Yet he laid it not to heart. So you, you, you Jake, don't consider, you know. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell you, man. I had to, man. You know, when I realized, you know, the situation, you know, uh, of being, of, of being in that environment around those type of police officers, man, they'll pull your ass over for anything, man. And then find a reason to beat your ass, hey, man. I, 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 I got friends that didn't got up, you know, put police brutalized for nothing, man. Uh, it's, I don't heard stories of these damn devils coming to, 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 to Jake's house. They kick everybody at the house, and wh and whoever they want in the house, they'll, they'll you know, they was, they'll have you in there beating your ass, and your family can't do, can't do, can't do nothing to help you, man. You know, this is what they do. It says, um, this is the book of Baruch, chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, and where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject unto payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the lord yahweh for, 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 from the lord our power okay so you hey this is why because we had departed from our lord man you know our, our people you know they, they have chosen the way of the way of the devil and these devils you know they, they they take advantage of that and they eventually end up you know bringing judgment and hell, and hell upon our people man all right, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 6. You were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. You see, so the point is, ye were sold to the nations not for your destruction. So this ain't for our destruction. This is for our punishment. Which when you when you in punishment, you gotta realize what you did. You gotta realize, you know, what what what, what why you been put in that in that predicament, and you need. And then after that, you must what, um, uh, do do what's right to fix it. It says, but because you moved the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. And that's why we under the, 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 the yoke of our enemies to this day, man. These devils have, you know, um, authority, power, you know, the, the, even the authority, you know, or the power to kill us, man. All right. So beware, you know, 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 know who your enemy is, know who the devil is. Okay. Because these motherfuckers is, uh, you know, wicked, man, wicked. All right, whatever said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame, Sharala, Abba, Baba, Shalom.